Hello everyone. I am recording this lecture for the students of CFA and FRM as I am going to come up with a strategy where we can clear our exam very easily, very smoothly without any pressure and it will cover so many things. So just watch it with patience and not down any important points which you feel that can help you in the near future. So let's start. First of all, I want to start with a brief discussion about we, who are we. Now, we are teaching students of CFA and FRM from more than four years and currently at present, the students of RBI are from more than 20 countries, which include the countries like India, USA, UK, Italy, then Middle East countries are there like Dubai, Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, Jordan. We have some of the countries like from Africa, which includes Togo, Ghana, Botswana, students from Bahrain, Vietnam, Hong Kong, Singapore are also joining RBI. Now definitely if students from all over the world are approaching RBI for their classes, for the mentorship, then definitely there will be something in the classes. Now, why our students are successful? Basically, this video is based on that, that how we are helping them to achieve their target, to help them to pass. And we never target just pass. We always have the intention in our mind that student will score with a good percentile, at least in the top quartiles. That's our always our intention that was our hard work dedication and the strategy which we develop is completely focused on that so this video is basically for both if someone is new means if they want to start their preparation or if there is anyone who failed their cf or frm exam and now come up with their exam again okay so means i am reappearing so both the students the one who are new to the course and the one who appeared once but failed unable to clear because of some reasons and now they want to come up again what should they do how they manage their preparation everything will be covered in a very detailed way after watching this lecture, you can check the description box. There are so many things for you. Even you will find out my contact number where you can drop me a message and I will personally be in touch with you to guide you and to mentor you. Now, let us start with one of the most basic reason that uh, what makes our student different from other students in the world. Means what's that basic reason? that they are getting such a good percentile, they are getting such a good percentage and they are passing with confidence. What's that? It's actually they start early. Now, what does that mean start early? See, syllabus remains the same. Syllabus remains the same. Suppose you start, you are spending today at this point. Okay, suppose this is 1st of January 2021 and your exam is on say 31st of March 2021. I am just taking an hypothetical example. Currently you are standing here and here is the date of exam. You have 3 months time in IELTS. But you don't start your preparation here. Suppose you take a break for 1 month and you started your preparation from February. So now how much time do you have? You have only 2 months time. But syllabus remains the same the amount of time in your hand it actually got reduced so this is one of the mistake students usually do and now what happened in these two months lots of pressure to complete the same syllabus okay even if you won't be able to study say two days because of some reasons might be some family functions might be you have to go out with friends or might be some health issues these two days will create lots of pressure in your mind because now you have limited time 
but one the one who has started early even if they will lose one day or two day they know that they have enough time to make up for their exam so start early it's always a game rule start early finish your syllabus early and you will be left with lots of time in your hand and this time is basically for the purpose of revision for the purpose of revision you can revise your whole syllabus you can revise your whole syllabus again and again and then there is a time for mock exam so this is a edge over others that they win why they win so because they have huge amount of time in their hand to make up the syllabus to revise them to practice them again and again and whatever mistakes you do during your practice or during your mock exam you have even time to revise your mistakes so the one who did mistake and he revised his mistake there are very rare chances that he is going to fail okay very very rare chances i can say that 95% chance that particular person will pass and 5% chance he can fail or she can fail because might be the day is not good might be he learned everything but he went out in a very bad mood something happened okay all those things external factors can only made him fail otherwise there is no scope that he will lose the exam okay this is the first point where you can win your battle okay because we all know out of 100 if 100 students are appearing only 40 will pass okay so if you want to be the part of 40 you need to be doing something extra in order to be extraordinary you need to put something extra and the first point in that extra is so i am starting my preparation already clear this is the first basic game rule i don't know uh, i am a fan of cricket and football so i always relate my things with them it will become easier for me you need to score 270 runs in 50 overs okay once you feel that you can go slow in the beginning say in beginning 20 overs you went very slow in the beginning 20 overs you went very slow and you will be able to cover up only 20 runs now can you see the pressure in the last 30 overs that you need to make up 250 runs that's the mistake made by the batsman over here okay and the same mistake we are making by allowing myself to waste my time okay if i will capitalize on my time if i utilize that for my preparation no one in the world can stop you to pass the exam that's the real fact but there is another team there is a another team who have decided that they will make 5.5 runs per over on an average or i can say for every 10 overs they will make up 55 runs there are very high chances that they will win or in at the end if anything wrong goes okay that's something which is out of your control out of my control out of the control of these batsmen but at least from the beginning they have the intention see the word intention to clear the exam that's the point okay so if you want to do the course like cfa or frm or any other course see the thing is that if you want to do if you want to do then don't wait for anything to happen and then you will start suppose you will say sir i want to do cfa but not now i will start my preparation after 2 months but why why what stopping you to start your preparation early because the, in these two months you can prepare something means if you can't give time at least give 30 minutes daily it won't take much of your pressure you spend 30 minutes on instagram easily 
so better convert that time to your preparation and later we will pay some but at least study something in these two months you will cover up something that is for sure so the first rule to pass is start early and finish early and the one who are into those that 40% category or for CFA if I will say that 25% category they are the one who start early and if you want to be the part of this you also need to start early clear now one more thing can happen if we will start our preparation late that is there are some means if I talk about who are preparing for the exam the one those who are students okay might be doing their college or might be in their MBA programs or there are working professionals clear now both of them have their own commitments these students have their other college exams okay and they have their own social life and when it comes to these working professionals they have their work life their office they have their families and some his personal social life but now there is something adding up that is the exams of CFA and FRM ok so what will happen if you have time in your hand you can take the preparation very easily but if you don't have time enough time in your hand what will happen you have to give time to your exam under pressure you have to feel the burden of now office work because exams are closed you have to study in between the office hours things will get messed up you are unable to give time to your family to your social life so everything will come to a messed up situation and at the end you have to give up one thing either you will feel like my CFA exams are more important than my job life I will quit my job ok because family and social life is something which you cannot quit because you have to stay in the society or either you will quit or you postpone your exam that's the only possibility you are left with so start early go smoothly don't feel the pressure at any point of time now let us come to our second strategy and this begin with the minimum time required to prepare that how much time sir so please tell me how much time do i need to prepare for cfn frm examination so generally okay the time which i personally suggest is you need to have at least or minimum six month of time in your hand before starting or before giving the exam means if your exam is in june okay you must prepare from january if your exam is in june means you need to have minimum six month time in your hand that's minimum as per means basic norms okay basic norms if you want to come up with your preparation very smoothly there are students whom we have taught in the last two months of the examination means the examination are in november but they have joined us in september okay still we have prepared them and uh, even they passed but again lesser time more pressure situation become very hectic so a normal time frame which we suggest is six months in this six months we divide the classes like this four months we complete our syllabus and in the two months we will do revision and mock exam clear suppose if someone is coming up with five months if someone is coming up with five months left in their hand then how I will divide the same basically 3.5 months for the preparation 1.5 months for the purpose of revision ok might be the situation changed someone joined only 4 months before the exam then simply the time will cut like this ok the same thing you need to cover up in lesser amount of time you are getting lesser amount of time to revise lesser amount of mocks you will be able to give so again the pressure will be on us suppose someone is coming up with only 3 months clear things will divide further 2.5 month full syllabus again a very hectic situation 
and only 15 days for revision and mock exam. Can you see how difficult the situation is? How pathetic our preparation will be? We can't even look for our mistakes. The area which we want to cover at least twice and thrice, things will become very difficult. So the optimum, okay, there is always an optimum minimum amount of time which I personally feel is six months. But if someone have already registered and his exam is in November and you are in August, you have to give exam, you don't have any other option, then only we help, but with this method. The only way we can complete our syllabus, we don't have, because time is limited. Same syllabus will be done in a very shorter span of time, same syllabus will be covered in a very longer time. So here, this is our second question, that is, how much time do we need minimum amount of time we need to prepare for our FRM or CFA examination. One more basic point. In this month, when you have six month time in your hand, what will be your attitude? What will be your intention? So, I want to top the exam. I want top quartiles in all the subjects. Okay, that was your intention. And when you will be at this level, what was your intention? So anyhow, help us to pass the exam. Can you see the level of attitude which I have at present and the level of attitude which I have when I have six months of time in my hand? Things will change, clear? Now, what we want from our student is definitely an attitude and some amount of confidence. See, if you have confidence, things will become easy. But if you don't even have the confidence, you lack that, you lack the attitude to sit for the exam, to clear the exam. Exam will become way too difficult. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Don't sleep. Things are very important. You are going to prepare for an exam whose value is a lot in the market. So you have to be very cautious when you are going to appear for the exam. Keep that attitude in my mind. Sir, I am a good going to be a good financial risk manager. I am going to be a good portfolio manager. Okay, I am not doing my CFA and FRM preparation just for the sake of exam. I am doing it for my future career. That attitude, that confidence level will take you at the next level. And that's what we want from our students. That attitude will make the game changer, will become the game changer for you. Trust me. Okay, now, the third question that the students generally want to know, like how we prepare our student, what makes our student different from others, that why students are approaching us from the different countries, from globe, why, means what makes them, means how we prepare our student. See, there is actually not a magic. We are not doing any magic. What we are doing, we have a strategy to prepare. We have a strategy to prepare. We work hard. We work hard. We focus on the area needed. And a plan to study. That's all are the key points which we always focus upon. Now we begin our CFA and FRM preparation with the basics. Means, first of all we ensure that if someone is starting the course like CFA and FRM, their foundation, their basics of finance must be strong. So, without knowing how is their knowledge with respect to finance, we give them the lectures which are completely focused on building up their basics. So, these basics are given with some intentions. There can be students who are in college or B schools. Okay, there can be some working professionals and there can be some engineers who are 
doing these courses so first of all if i talk about engineers their financial knowledge is very low they, they don't have the idea about economics about the financial markets about the corporate finance derivatives very low so basics is mandatory for them and we ensure that they get that basic knowledge of finance before starting cf and frm course otherwise this is completely worthless the preparation of cf and frm without the good knowledge of finance it's worthless the working professionals they have left their studies for say 5 years 10 years 15 years and it's very difficult to start a car okay if it stopped from say so long it's very difficult so how to start this car a basic lectures which are very easy to grasp okay something which is very interesting and doing that 10 to 15 days will help them to repair the car and get it started and the one those who are students in college or b school i'm assuming that their knowledge of finance is completely theoretical limited to some space so it's better to boost up their knowledge and once their foundation is strong once their foundation is strong they can build a very high building and it won't collapse but if their foundation is weak and still they are building that high and tall burj khalifa it will collapse it will so work on your foundation build it very strong so that when you lay down your building it will stay for a longer period of time hopefully you are understanding the need of these basics okay now after doing this basics we begin with our preparation for cfa and frm course okay someone those who are doing cfa someone those who are doing frm and there are some students who are doing both in a combined way so preparation will be designed strategies will be designed as per the needs and requirements the course they are doing the level in which they are clear now we believe in weekly schedule now what does weekly schedule is basically looks like for every week we'll provide our students with a target say three chapters they have to complete three chapters in the given week and it is followed by a test on sunday clear now how to prepare these three chapters why there is a need of test and what i am doing as a mentor to help them and guide them now these three steps are very important which makes us unique from any other mentor who are mentoring the students of cfn frm so stay tuned and understand the plans the procedure the steps which we are following and how intensive they are that's the key which helps the student to stay on track to help us to analyze their performance that's the important thing which i want to share with you all now so now let us begin with the chapter 1 how we help our student to prepare that chapter 1 first of all they will watch our lecture for that particular chapter and after watching the lecture they will prepare the notes for that particular chapter they will read books and at the end they will practice questions and after doing all these four steps the preparation will be completed now what is the need of this watching the lecture this will help them to have the good understanding of the concepts in the book you will find out that it's very difficult written in a very difficult language with different notations and you don't have the good understanding of all those financial jargons clear so these lectures will make the concepts easier for you that's the main motive over here now why a student is preparing his own notes while watching the lectures for the purpose of revision because he cannot watch and invest the same amount of time by watching the video again so once he have noted out all the important points it will take only 5 to 10 minutes to cover up the lectures via notes so that's why i always recommend my students to take down the notes in their own notes they can remember they can retain the things 
for the longer period of time. Now, why this reading book is important? See, when I am teaching, I am teaching with simple terms, simple language, trying to make a definition very simple for you, a numericals very simple for you, notations very simple. But at the end, you need to know what authors want you to know. While reading the book, you will understand each and everything because I have explained that. But now you are reading books just to understand the tone of the author, the language in which he wants the flow of the chapter in which he wants to take you through. And this will be a second revision of that particular chapter. And at the end, you are practicing question to master in that particular chapter. Clear? If there is any doubts, students can reach me directly. Students can reach me directly at any point of time. I am available to help them to clear their doubts via text messages, via calls or via video calls. Doubts will be solved immediately. Means our student, they don't have to wait to get their doubts solved. Because suppose if I'll be doing something like this, that doubts will be solved on Sunday and someone got the doubt on Monday. Will he wait for six days to get his doubts cleared? I don't think so. This is the right way to get the doubts cleared. Because if he can't get his doubt cleared on Monday, how he will move ahead on Tuesday and Wednesday? It's very difficult. So better if there is any hurdle in between, clear it immediately. I am there to help you and to guide you. Clear? Now, you have these four steps to cover up to complete a single chapter. Similarly, you have to follow the same for all the three chapters. You have to follow the same for all the three chapters and in this fashion you will complete all the three chapters. Suppose you started on Monday and now it's Friday. You have completed all the three chapters in the same manner which I wanted you to complete it. On Saturday, you will revise these three chapters from your notes and on Sunday there is a test. Now in the test, whatever mistakes you will do, you will revise them and if needed, you will go through the notes once again. Clear? Now, if I feel that on Sunday you performed well, we move ahead. But if I felt that no, your preparation is not up to the mark. Please revise the portion again and ready for the next test. Because foundation is not strong, it's worthless to move ahead. So move back, revise it, make it stronger, move ahead. But whatever we'll study, we'll study with perfection. We'll complete that with perfection. Clear? Now what, why, why that test is necessary? Why? See, when you are giving a test, you are helping yourself to prepare for your betterment. Means at the end, on the day of exam, you have to give a test. Clear? So once you will prepare yourself on a regular basis for the something which is coming to you in the near future. So means practicing a lot will make you more comfortable with the same thing. Means giving test, 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 test will make you comfortable with the real test which you are going to give in the exam. So this test is basically going to boost your confidence. Okay. Apart from this, understanding your current situation. If there are students who are not giving tests, who are not analyzing them while preparing and at the end if they will realize that their preparation is not up, the, up to the mark, you are clean bold. You cannot do anything. Because time went and you haven't tested yourself when you need to be tested personally or through your mentor. So it's better to test yourself on every step and wherever you feel the hurdle, the mistakes, move back, revise it, correct them, move ahead. That's the basic strategy we have to follow. Clear? Apart from this, this will help me to keep the track of preparation of my students that actually how they are performing 
if there is any weakness in any of the particular topics any of the chapter it will bring in front of my eyes and then i have to take the necessary steps wake up wake up then what is the need of mentor if he is not helping you to correct your mistakes if he is not guiding you that's the area where you need a mentor okay if you don't need a mentor you just need a video lectures go to youtube watch it no need to pay anything to any mentor but if you are paying it to your mentor just make sure that your mistakes got improved you are working on your mistakes your mentor is helping you to identify your mistake because most of the time if i am doing something i will always feel that i am correct i am always correct yaar yeah. who can make me wrong no i am correct but your mentor knows that no this is the area where you are weak this is the area where you are lacking this is something which you are doing wrong correct it otherwise you will make the same mistake in the exam and the result is fail so if you don't want that result improve your mistakes work on your mistakes now and that's the basic task of your mentor clear now this is the plan for the first week in the second week again i will give you the task of three chapters there are three more chapters which you need to cover suppose you started on monday and on friday you have covered all the new three chapters now on saturday what you have to do you have to revise six chapters three which you have covered previously and three which you have covered in the current week so on this sunday there is a test of six chapters so means test are on cumulative basis help you to revisit what you have studied earlier because most of the student means 30 to 40% students i have seen they fail in the exam because they won't be able to recall what they have studied 30 to 40% students they won't be able to recall and 90% of the student they forget what they have studied after doing suppose they have completed one book of say quants after one month if i'll ask anything from quants they will say so i need i need to check sir i don't remember why because they are not in regular touch with their topics and you have faced that problem when you are in school or when you are in college or doing any other professional exam the lack of revision the lack of practice you will forget the previous thing so this will help you to get in touch with what you have studied previously okay that will need some time extra but it's worth better than forgetting what you have studied you have spent some time to study and now you are forgetting it it's better to give some time to revise it and keep the worth of what you have spent earlier hope you will understand this point now when it comes to mentor even if i'll talk about the god of cricket whether it's sachin or dhoni or virat or ricky ponting or if i'll talk about from the football whether it's messi or ronaldo or maradona they all need a coach though they are the god they are the perfectionist mr perfectionist of their field but still they need a coach because they know if they will make a mistake who will help them to correct it it's their mentor clear now in this lecture i want to cover one more important points that why students fail the exam because if you know this part you can prepare yourself better because if you know that after walking 2 kilometers there is a dig hole okay and you can fall into it so it, after walking 2 hours definitely will keep your eyes open to find out okay there is a dig hole i have to move somewhere else so that's the basic key point because if you know the area where you can struggle it's better to work it from the beginning so that you won't struggle like others did and you can clear up easily now how we got the reasons to fail means we got surveys after the results we talked to many students our students other students who have taken classes from other coaching institute or even the one who have self studied and after collecting all the data we got some of the important points now more than 60% of the student agreed the reason of the fail is lack of proper 
guidance and mentorship now this includes the students who have done self studies or they have taken coaching now the one who have done self study definitely they don't have any kind of guidance and mentoring apart from the seniors one who have previously appeared for their exam and they have cleared okay but yes these seniors are not that much experience just like their coach and mentor and the one who have taken the coaching okay they have taken the class from some other coaching institute they have even said that they have received only the video lectures the study materials the plans but no follow ups no performance evaluation nothing means teachers don't even know that okay this is the weakness of my student and i need to work on them so 60% of the student means after getting the result i was really shocked that even the student who have taken the coaching they have faced this issue a big number clear yeah? so for this for this we have one important point is the regular update from our students we take update from our student on a day to day basis means i have fixed a time of 8 pm but this is the point of time where every student message me and they give me the update of their study means what they have studied during the day they have watched the lectures for which topic or they have read the notes or they have practiced the question even if you haven't studied anything just message me sir i haven't studied anything today what will happen the impact of this after doing this repeatedly for 2 3 days you will personally feel oh i am messaging to sir that i haven't studied anything from today let us study something today see this is a self motivating factor you will start preparing of your own okay and this will give me a regular update about my students at actually on where they are where they are okay if this is the final path they have to reach so this will give me a basic evaluation where every student is actually standing clear now the second problem which student faced is the test now this test again include the students who have done self study and who have taken coaching now the one those who have done self study they felt the pain of knowing what to practice how to practice where to practice okay that is the key issue they failed and after test there was no evaluation no benchmark nothing and the one who have taken the coaching they also said that the problem they faced is they got the question papers they have solved of their own there is no one to evaluate the report card no one to evaluate the report card no one is there to tell them okay this is your weak area and you need to work on that and there are also no regular testing some of the students have also said this there are no regular testing though there are test but they are not regular they are at the same after the completion of the syllabus there is mock exam only means no monthly test no weekly test no subject wise test only the mock exam so this is another concerns of the student clear and for that for that we have test on every sunday and the mock exam before the real exam this will definitely help students to clear their exam now apart from this weakness if someone is doing self studies it's very difficult to work on the weakness very difficult because if i am saying that quants is my weakness and i am doing it self study it's very difficult to improve the level of my preparation in quants clear so the self study student face the face that particular issue and the one who are taking the coaching the one those who are taking the coaching their mentors are not even bothered about their weak subjects they don't even ask them the area where they are weak the area where they lack so this is another problems faced by the students clear now what we are doing basically when we are talking to the students even before the registration okay students call us 
they get to know about our classes they get to know how we teach what we teach we also asked one more thing is there any weakness or weak area whether it's quants or financial markets or modeling anything you feel that this is going to be very tough topic for you and if they say we mark them in our diary so whenever we are going to prepare the test for the particular student or the schedule for the particular student we have a very deep look into that particular topic that what should be the different strategy for that particular student if he is weak in quants what we can do extra to ensure that his weakness can be removed because otherwise if your weakness are not removed it still exist there is no use of getting mentored because weakness still persist better you remove your weakness then only you will be able to successful clear also there is uh, one more uh, reason to fail i got to know from the student these are uh, these uh, this one is basically from the working professionals okay from the working professionals who are taking coaching classes okay the problem which they faced is the number of hours of lectures because we all know if you are working your 8 to 10 hours will be devoted towards your work life then you have your family life then you need to rest and then only you will get only say 1 hour or 2 hours to study so in that 1 hour or 2 hours it's very difficult to cover up 300 to 500 hours of lectures because if you'll cover that 300 500 hours lectures when you will read from the book when you will practice question when you have to revise it again at least twice and thrice and then you have to solve exam it needs lots of time lots of pressure so this is something which many working professionals have faced the issue now how we come up with this see we have to complete the syllabus we have to teach in each and every point we cannot leave the syllabus still we try to manage our syllabus in a very shortest way okay we cover each and every point but we try not to waste even a single minute during our lecture completely stick to our teaching stick to the points and explain the difficult topics in the most easiest manner in a very shorter period of time so this is how the working professionals are got getting the benefit by covering the huge syllabus in a shorter period of time then they will get the time to revise and mock exam <laughs> Preparation package. The last thing of this lecture, what we are going to provide. The one thing is the video lectures, which will be given to you. You will be given with the short notes, mind maps, practice test. You have mock exam. then you have sunday test one to one doubt solving then definitely the basics of finance will be covered key facts and formula sheets and at the end that's something few days before the exam we shot out some important lws which we need to cover and uh, we need to revise them twice and thrice because that's our important area for exam this is how we cover clear yeah? so yes as much as i know from my students 
preparation is very intensive which we go through a complete intensive process whether it's uh, how to complete a chapter a weekly schedule test on every sunday then we come up with a surprise test I means suppose it has been a one month you have covered up your foundation frm part 1 foundation syllabus any time i can ask you to appear for a test I means a surprise one so means you need to be ready up with your syllabus so students uh, sometimes feel that it's very difficult to manage such a intensive preparation schedule but at the end results will in your favor see today if you take the pain later you are going to get the gain you are going to get the fruit of what you have suffered so much the intensive process which you have followed up clear my contact details will be given in the description box just reach out to me drop me the message if you want to connect with me want to know anything more about me our preparation want to join our classes just reach me out also there will be other things mentioned in the description box you can just go through and come watch it and we are there to help you to guide you at any point of time and the one those who want to appear again make sure you just message me your previous report card so that i can see the area where you lack so that we can have a discussion the reasons of your failure because at the end if you don't work on those reasons it will become very difficult for us to clear it again because you will commit the same mistake again okay so this is how we will take our preparation ahead thank you students